well, here we are in beautiful downtown King's Cross. It's changed a lot since I was a kid. But believe it or not, this is when my career really started. It started just over there in a place called Surf City. Ray Brown and the Whispers started out of there. The Easy Beast played there a lot. The Missing Links. Sadly, it's gone. Like so many other things in Australian popular music, they pulled it down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, George Negus. G'day. Now, Lynn and the girls and Chuggy have asked me uh, to say a few words. I, I guess as a, a simple working journalist, a, a mate of Billy's, an ex-Brisbane boy like Billy. I grew up at the same time as Bill. You know, another part of Brisbane, but the same town, and we survived to tell the tale. And I guess they've also asked me as a tone-deaf rock music lover. I mean, given my quite embarrassing lack of musical aptitude, if Bill were here with us today, and who among us doesn't think that he is? I mean, come out now, you bastard. And we're all, all to break into uh, somewhere over the rainbow. Bill would, uh, with a glass of ice cubes in his hand, I suspect, would probably gently but very firmly suggest to me, here Negus, suck on these things in 4-4 time, that way you can't cause too much trouble. <laughs> it reminds me of a time that uh, we were uh, with Bill and, and Lynn and the girls at Jack Thompson's place, which for some obscure reason we found a pretty nice thing to do. And, and uh, my kids, my, my oldest was playing very bad bass in a, in a, with a bunch of session musos. And he came to me at one point in the evening and he said, who's the little blonde guy that just played with us? And then I said, that's Billy Thorpe. He said, who the hell's Billy Thorpe? He can play a bit and sing. <laughs> I said, Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs. I mean, how the hell do you explain to a kid who's about 11 or 12, Billy and the Aztecs? I said, sort of like, I don't know, the Rolling Stones of Australia? And he said, who the hell are the Rolling Stones? Said, <laughs> so I gave that up. He said, why were they called Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs? I said, I think there must have been a couple of South Americans in the band or something. <laughs> and I went to Billy and I said, Billy, my kid just said, who the hell's Billy Thorpe? He thought was that, that was absolutely hilarious. Laughed his head off. I said, and now he asked why you were called Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs. And I told him I thought there were a couple of South Americans in the band. He said, you know, I haven't got a bloody clue why we were called Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs. A bit of history written off just like that. But Chucky said to me, think about the life, or talk about the life and times of Billy if you can, mate. I mean, holy shit. I mean, is that a daunting assignment or what? I mean, how the hell do you pull together Billy's 60-year rise to, the, to greatness, his five decades on the way to the top, his four decades at the top. Well, let's have a go. Let's call it a potted but pointed recollection. Well, one of the few Australians, if you ask me, in any field who should carry that frighteningly overworked and bloated label, legend. But that's what Billy was. Born a Manchurian in uh, 1946, an Australian and a Brisbaneite by the time he was nine, the country's youngest ever rock and roller at 11, and why the hell are we not surprised? A Sydney cider and the Aztecs lead singer at 17. First hit single, Blue Day at 18, 18 first hit single. Four singles in the top 20 at the same time, including Poison Ivy. Billy's about the only person that's got not one, not two, not three, not four, but about 15 signature tunes, of which Poison Ivy is one. A TV Logie Award winner at 19. At 22, his own TV show with a very Billy title. It's all happening. 1972 was a big year for Bill and the country. Everybody I know was battling with its time for the national anthem. Billy vying with Goff for number one Australian. Billy won, because what, he might, might have been smaller than Goth, but he was a hell of a lot louder. 72 was also Aztec Madness year at Moomba and, of course, Sunbury, where a rampant Billy would have been crowned King of Australia, as, as Brian said, had he not been a Republican. 
1976 was a hell of a year, a wrench year for Bill and the family who took off to the bloody US. Three more top 40 albums in no time flat. A couple of dramatic career flips. He became a techno freak, amongst other things. And somehow, music reared its wonderful head again. The band Zoo came into existence and uh, Billy played, of course, with Mick Fleetwood, that other genuine legend of the music, uh, music land. In 1991, still in absentia, Billy joins the ARIA Hall of Fame, and how the hell could he not? There wouldn't be no, would be no Hall of Fame without Billy in it, it would be a total fraud. In 1996, two things happened that we didn't expect. After 20 years in the States, Bill and the family came home. In the same year, John Howard, after being beaten by Andrew Peacock for the leadership of the Liberal Party, which is something I wouldn't have thought you could do unless you're deliberately trying, somehow did his own form of Lazarus and became Prime Minister of Australia. I'm not going to embarrass you. This is an election year by asking you to put up your hand and tell me which one of those two events you think were more important, Billy coming home or John Howard being elected Prime Minister, but I think I know what most of you probably feel. But what I, what I thought was amazing, I don't know about you, but I don't know where those 20 years went because it never seemed as though he left us. By the time he got back, two damn decades, it was like Billy had always been here, because that's the impact Billy had. But back home, he, he made no mistake and got stuck straight back into everything and anything that he could possibly do to, to make his mark on this country. The 2000 Paralympics opening ceremony with Yothi Yindi, which must have blown him away. Three years later, the tsunami benefit. And all this, of course, Brownie's told his booze tale. We've all got booze tales where Billy's concerned. All of this interspersed with just a few quiet drinks at Jack's five or six day birthday parties, <laughs> five or six day New Year's Eve parties. That way you had no bloody excuse whatsoever for not turning up. But we had to have five or six days. We had a lot of, um, a lot of rewriting of history to do. We had a lot of predicting about the future of the human race to do. Small time shit like that we talked about. <laughs> and most recently, of course, um, Morocco and Tangier. Fingers crossed, which we're all holding our collective breaths to hear. And of course, long way to the top. Bill's brilliantly inspired idea that said it all in one incre incredible musical extravaganza. I was lucky enough to see the final long way to the top of the Rod Laver Arena in Melbourne with Lynn. A memorable night. At the end of the evening, Chuggy in his own inimitable impresario fashion had marched onto the stage after Bill had played long way to the top to announce as only impresarios can, thank you Melbourne, thank you Australia, we love you, it's a long way to the top. And Billy was just was still standing there, wouldn't move. And he turned to Chuggy and he said, piss off, Chuggy, we haven't finished yet. <laughs> I think the only way they got Bill off the stage that night, Michael, was to press the button and the stage revolved around and Billy disappeared. I think he... But I think if it was Bill's idea, we all know that long way to the top, and I... I think while, uh, while Long Way to the Top can be pressed, can turn into CDs, can be shown on television again, Bill will still be with us. I know this has not really been the life and times of, uh, of William Thorpe Esquire, uh, more like a, a pretty, given the time, but a, a rapid flashback of the, how can you put it, the indelible impact of the man, of his music, of his mind, uh, the impact that he had on a nation and its culture the impact of a truly exceptional human being. We could go on. Boy, how we could go on. 